Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time it is the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Remote Duel Invitational Day 1, and this is round 2. I'm going to be uploading every single round, so make sure to stay tuned. And we got Hanko Chow versus Elise Davis, Prank Kids versus Dragoonity Dragon Link, and we are going to see Brotar be normal and turn into Striker Dragon and go add Boot Sector Launch. And I, I like how I like how they're holding their cards, like they're holding their deck like that, not showing off any of their I hope they don't like show any of their draws either. Uh, round one we saw a lot of uh, like draws and like the deck being shown. But they're getting hit with draw and lockbird here. And then we can see all oh, the little the little card hot the little card highlight, the little DMZ dragon. We do know that they're on that. Uh, we've actually had this exact build, or not this exact build, but a build similar to this shown off on the channel prior. I think that the build's definitely not bad, and Elise is a good player. And also, I was told that they were cosplaying Ray. Is is that Ray? I don't know. I, I don't know like what the exact artwork of Ray looks like, but that kind of looks like Rose. I feel like not Ray. Maybe I'm wrong though. But boots, summon out recharger. Go ahead, turn those into a seal. And then just pass turn. So they do have seal versus prank kids, which is pretty solid. Also, holy, if you look behind Hanko, you see one giant card, two giant card. Uh, the This blue thing kind of looks like a giant card. I don't know if it is or not. You can see like all those regional deck boxes. That's cool. Start off with the ultimate rare desires. So, I think that the Dragon Link player definitely has the advantage in this matchup. Uh, they did win the dice roll too, which is pretty big. But not to not to count on Hanko. Ooh, they drop a draw of their own. Oh, they dropped the ulti draw after the ulti desires. Nice. Uh, both of these players are good though. Now, if you don't know who either of them are, uh. Uh, may maybe you're like new to the competitive game. I, don't know. I feel like both of them are uh, rather known, I would say. Yeah, normal summon fire and then seal effect. And yeah, bouncing fire. Then seal effect the summon, chain ash blossom. Yep, no response to that. Do they have fusion spell? Oh? Oh? Do they have it? It's going to be huge if they do. May as well just slap it down now. I can't take the suspense. No, oh, just passing turn. All right. So, uh, you know, they could have had fusion spell. Maybe no other prank kid besides the one that they normal summoned. I don't know. But normal summon out safer. And then looks like they're using the effect of it right there to go ahead and search. So Hanko better have some hand traps here. Adding Tracer. Ah, draw and lock bird. <laughs> we can see. Oh, I was about to. I was about to say we can see the gamma. Yeah, that's uh, that's solid. If you drop gamma and Dragon Link on your own turn, that's a free Popega ruler. And a free Popega ruler is huge. There's white dragon in hand. <laughs> they they dropped the card like, look, I'm not cheating. I mean, we could see that it was white dragon. That I think that might have actually been the card I was able to see and not the gamma, because I did see like the like the the whiteness. I don't know. It might have been gamma. Might have been white dragon. I couldn't really tell. I thought it was gamma. Yeah, they they dropped the card. Oh, there's no way. Like, you can't get a game loss here. Like, there's no way because they flipped the card and you could see the card artwork and then that happened. There's there's no way. If they get a game loss, they're going to be mad. Oh, whoa. Hi, Sala. How you doing? Wow, okay. Get silent treatment. It's whatever. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. What's up, Billy? How you doing then? You having a good day? Yeah, me too, bro. Yeah, I'm just chilling. How you feel about this match? Kind of dumb. Yeah, wish I could just pick up their card. <laughs> nah, alright, I'm done with this talk though. I'm skipping forward. Nice talk though, nice talk. 
Like, there's a 0% chance of a game loss. The card was flipped before it fell. So it's not like the card just fell. It was flipped. Does it take minutes to resolve this? I was going to say, like, I'm at home, and, like, I can tell what the card was. Like, if you can re-watch it, you should know what the card is, but... So, they ended up summoning out white by Banishing Striker. Go ahead and make the ultimate rare Needle Fiber. And then they're going to go ahead and get those effects. So, Hanko is definitely going to, uh... He's going to need some good cards here. He's going to need some hand traps. Also, it's really cool that they have a solo on here. I didn't realize that. I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think he's done this before. Maybe I'm. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I like having like good players like commentate. Not saying like Billy's like a bad player per se, but I'd say like he's he's not in the loop as much as he used to be. So he's not good compared to other people that could be commentating. <laughs> I'm playing. Uh, it's cool to see Billy though. Then they're gonna boot summon. Go ahead, slap that in the LP, and they do have Appaloosa on board, so they're gonna have to get hit with like a double hand trap. They're switching it to red. Huh? I'm going to, like, read chat. Said, no game loss. Let's go. Glad no game loss. That would have been lame. Yeah, if there was a game loss, I would have been mad. 100%. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's wrong here. Yeah. So, summon LP. Use that. So they're just going to go ahead and combo. I don't think there's going to be much to stop them. They're going to, again, have to get hit with a double hand trap to be stopped. Summoning out the red MD. Even with the glare, like you can definitely tell that's red MD. That actually makes the card look cooler with that glare. No lie. And then, yeah, they're just admitting defeat there. Nice. Not wasting time. I like that. Oh, I don't like that that bridge shuffle though. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, I never do that personally. Like half the well, not even half. Like ninety percent of the tournaments I've played in, uh, I always borrow cards, and like I really want to return them in the best condition, exactly how I got them. I feel like that bridge is just ah. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how to do it right. So, we are going to go ahead and skip forward a little bit. Hi, how you guys doing? Oh, look at look at that! Like the the green screen is uh wild, but all right, there we go. So now moving on to game two, we saw Dragon or Dragoonity Link win game one. So now game two, we are going to go ahead and see Hanko Chow most likely choose to go first, the Frank is player. Yep, normal summon out water. Now, do they have a hand trap? That is, uh, it's gonna be pretty big here. They don't have like a, a basic hand trap to hit the water effect. That's good for the prank kid player. Also, game one was rather quick. It's like a 10 minute game. Really happy though, though that there wasn't a game loss. That would've been kind of whack. And I also like how like he's summoning his cards cause if they weren't summoning their cards like that then like you can only see half the artwork now you can see the full artwork and also they have like a like a prize card like a card holder thing right there like one of those fat sleeves that you get whenever you get a prize card I wonder if there is a prize card under that if so they're just flexing way too hard cause there's all that stuff behind them there's no way that they just have like a prize card chilling on the table. Actually, I don't even think you're allowed to do that. Maybe it's like different in remote duels. But I know that you can't have like anything that even like looks like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 
like on the table, like when you play in like an actual tournament. So they're gonna go for doodle and then fire effect. Summoning out rocks. He's also they don't have life points updated. I don't get how. I feel like they should be updating life points. I don't know. Who who's ever like updating the life points? I feel like that would just be like their job to do that. Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe there's like one person doing everything behind the scenes. But, yeah, activate pranks and then activate fueled spell. Go ahead and search. And then pranks just get rid of it. Pass out a token. A YCS token. So, yeah, they just got the, like, full combo here. Roxy's banished to draw. Or are they not using that? Can't really tell right now. Could be thinking about like what they want to banish for it. Or if they even want to declare it. So they're shuffling now. Now let's see if uh, let's see if the the Dragon Link player can push through the board. It's not going to be an easy board to push through. Like there's obviously got to be like other interruptions besides like the normal. Oh, so banish Lancia and then draw. So they did end up using the effect. So obviously there's got to be other interruptions if they're banishing a Lancia. It's not like their hands going to be like full of prank kids or anything. And then they're still going to get, like, their end phase prank draw to potentially draw into another hand trap. Holy! <laughs> yeah, it's set four. <laughs> you can even see, like, the smile on them. Just, okay. <laughs> then go ahead and put back. You know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that could be set. Uh, fusion spell. Mo that is going to be set. TC Boo. Judgment. Maybe, maybe even like Droplet. Maybe. Called by, potentially. So, passing turn. Also, th those are pretty cool sleeves that they get to use. Like the, kind of like the Yu-Gi-Oh card. Looks like the back of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. And also, it looks like they have to use the same extra X sleeves this time around. Last time... Uh, people were using like the rescue rat sleeves, which was cool. So they're using bow wow effect and then thinking if they want to chain anything to that. So is there, ah, okay. Called by, I'm going to say like called by gamma, those types of cards would work here. I feel like they have judgment. Hmm. Yeah. I was going to say, if they're like thinking about that, it's got to be judgment. I feel like that's like the like main negate that would be there. Ultimate rare judgment, by the way. Also, I wanted to buy a box of the new OTS to like upload on the channel. And I thought, you know, it's going to be like 400, 500 bucks to buy. You know, that's how much they used to cost. And it was like over a thousand dollars and I was like, nope, <laughs> not doing that. No, 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 no. Thousand dollars for a box. That's insane. I mean, it does have a hundred packs, but still that's like a lot of money <laughs> for, uh, for like not a lot of packs. Yeah. Chaos space chain, Ash Blossom, and then they scoop. So now we will just go ahead and skip to the last game. That's one good thing about not doing these live. I'm not trying to like miss anything. Oh wow, and I did right when I said that. But normal summon Brotar, turn that into Striker Dragon, and then it looks like they're trying to use Striker Dragon effect here to search. Yep, go ahead, add the boot sector launch from the decks of the hand. So they're gonna need hand traps. 
Not gonna lie, Hanko, uh, be looking kind of stressed right now. You know, did the little, you know, breathe in, breathe out. I saw that. Could just be uh, a bluff, though. You know, the little breathe in, breathe out when your hand's actually just like four hand traps plus a prank kids. But summon Red MD, Red MD effect, summon Brotar, discard Remus. That's a good discard. They can summon that later on. Yeah, Brotar effect, target Red MD. When they're asking for a response. Oh? It's got to have a hand trap if you're thinking about it. And now they do know the Remus in hand. They know Remus and Boot Sector. Are they, uh... Are they just thinking right now? Thinking right now? Uh... What? <laughs> what? What? I'm looking at chat. It's actually just everyone saying, Let's go, Elise. Oh, snap, Elise. Oh, hey, Elise sick. <laughs> Obviously, this guy's got a whole bunch of fans. Uh... Alright, I guess we skip forward. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe someone's got lag right now or something. Okay, so they wanted to Ash Blossom Brotar, but they discarded for cost on Brotar, but it's not cost to discard. So, Brotar got hit with Ash Blossom, they're going to make Romulus, Romulus effect, go grab Ravine. And then they're still just going to combo here. Yeah, discarding the Remus for the Ravine effect. We don't know if they're searching or sending, though. That'll be interesting. All right, so they're adding the, the leg from the deck to the hand. Then, like, summon itself out. Equip the Divine Lands on the Romulus. And then, you know, Divine Lands to equip from the deck a Phalanx. Yeah, this is, this is going to be hard. Hanko's going to need more hand traps. It's not like going second cards here. Uh, well, some going second cards would definitely help, but uh, they are setting up the Buster Lock in this deck. So that obviously is uh, kind of dangerous. They're going to make Needle, and the Needle effects summon out Buster. Yeah, and go ahead and make the, uh, the good old Appalooza. The Divine Lance does end up going to the graveyard there. They probably got like a, a warning for discarding for like cost on Brotar. Uh, like they accidentally discard and like, yeah. That's probably what that little like go away and come back was. But turn the buster into LP, LP summon safer. And also, everyone keeps asking me what I think is going to happen on the next ban list. And all I think that needs to happen is just LP banned. I think everything else is really fair. And I think Dragons will still be a deck even with LP banned. People were always like, oh, DB Grinder, if LP's banned, Dragons still do stuff. Okay? <laughs> I mean, the deck doesn't need to be, like, absolutely destroyed. But if LP's gone, that's that's a big hit. Like, that's definitely going to hurt the deck. And if the deck ends up still being, like, up there, then they can hit it again. Unless if they just don't want to make any more support for it and they really want it gone, then they can obviously do, like, a double hit, like a... Uh, like a band LP band seal type thing. That would definitely hurt a lot. Not like a double band, but Pisty summon out DMZ, DMZ effect, equip Phalanx, Phalanx effect to unequip itself. And then go ahead and Remus, trying to bring itself out. Go ahead and link four away. And that's going into the Skull Dread. Then obviously using that effect. Doing the draw technique. They did show that they drew chaos space. Yeah, they're showing that they linked four for it. It didn't seem like Hanko was talking there when they were like explaining that they used four to link. Maybe there's a judge constantly watching. 
I feel like that would be really good for the future matches. You know, keep a judge there so that way everything, uh, like the game state stays legal. Nothing like gets really messed up. Maybe even two judges, just in case one judge misses something, the other judge catches it. I feel like that would be good. But even still, people can miss stuff then. Uh, when I had my future match a long time ago, I normal summoned out Senju and added a ritual spell when it can only add monsters. And I missed it. My opponent missed it. Two judges missed it, missed it, and then some random dude jumped up on stage and was like, yo, cheating. <laughs> I was so happy. I thought I was going to get a game loss. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, I brought this upon myself, and they were like, nah, it's cool. Just put it back. And then I got to, like, search gun gear. or I think I got to search gun gear after I saw what they had already top decked, which was, like, kind of whack. I'm not going to lie. For them, it was really good for me. Yeah, Tracer, Poppy, and Ravine. And it's going to go ahead and summon out a rocket from the deck. I'm going to sit up real quick. Summoning out a Recharger. Yeah, Hanko's just playing with the dice right now. Really hoping for a good top deck. Maybe even a good top deck won't win in the game. I mean, this isn't like a normal Dragon Link end board. Like, this is going to have Buster Log. Yeah, going for Savage, equipping from the graveyard. Yep, now the Savage has Tuna Gates. Whoa, putting like the little counters above it. And then DMZ and the Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon, Pop. Add back recharger, recharger effect, target striker dragon, special summon back out the DMZ, DMZ effect, equipping buster log. And then that's a very solid end board. I mean, savage, buster log, Appalooza, plus like anything potentially drawn off to skull dread, or that was just in hand at the start. And then set one card, pass turn. They're probably feeling really confident here. You see Hanko just, ah, oh, please draw the good. Yeah, they need, they need, they need, oh, uh, and they have Anti-Spell. Anti-Spell, Savage, Appaloosa, Buster Lock. So, like, oh, boy, you're going you're gonna to have to have some insane hand to beat this. Like, Chain Droplet, get rid of two to negate Appaloosa, Savage, Special Summon out Pankratops. Effect that will you know trade with Buster Lock, and then normal summon out prank kid. All right, let's go. You can do this. I believe in you. Break the board. That'd be insane. If they break the board, it doesn't. Yeah, it's not. It's not happening. It doesn't look like they're chaining anything. The anti spell. It looks like they're just asking a scoop and oh, they did have droplet. Oh, um, yeah, they drop the Dark Ruler, but, you know, Anti-Spell, even if they could have, like, used, like, that, like, they could have chained Droplet there if they wanted to. Buster Lock is still there, but wow. All right, so, now that's going to be it for round two. We saw Elise Davis win the round, shout out to them. So, we saw Dragon Link win, um, that's obviously the deck I think is a very solid deck. I wonder if there's any Drytron players in this. Overall, I think Dragon Link's just going to win this tournament uh, for sure. Uh, also, it's cool to see, like, a Sala on here. Uh, again, I think they're a good player. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They're Master Duelist and they're Konami representative. Last time, they were Master Duelist. Wow, a Sala took Billy's spot. Wow, he's got to be mad. <laughs> I'd be mad. I'd be like, whoa, what are you doing here, Sala? <laughs> but with all that being said that's going to be it for round two there's going to be round three four and the other rounds will be uploaded later on so make sure to stay tuned to that make sure to subscribe if you haven't so that way you know when those come out and with all that being said the db grinder signing off peace have a nice day